Now let's quickly take a look at the exclusive pair pattern. Here you have two pair sockets. And what's special about these is that there can be no third socket connected. No third socket can enter the game. And this is often used as a, a sort of a signaling mechanism. Another thing worth mentioning is that remember how in request and reply sockets uh, you needed to do both either a send or re send and receive or receive and a send. Here you don't have to do that. You can just keep on sending or keep on receiving. So here I am just starting out two new C17 projects side by side and uh, doing the what we did with the other examples declaring a context deriving the socket connecting to it generating some random numbers creating a json object dumping it to a string putting it into a zmq buffer and sending it over a socket I have a 500 millisecond speed bump there, just so we can observe. And notice that on the left, there's no receive command. The socket just sends. And on the right, I have a receive and I'll have a send. So you can you have more flexibility that way. So that's the exclusive pair pattern. Um, not very exciting, but uh, uh, can be very useful.